I said, let me get this camera since I've been inspired by DoDash to show up, show up as me, show up as myself. And I think that's where I went wrong. When I first started YouTube, I was timid, shy, and although it was me that you're seeing on the camera, I guess in a lot of ways I wasn't showing up as myself. But I, at the same time, I had a problem with kind of showing up as other people because I, I don't like doing the same stuff. I don't want to say the same words. I know which we do do that, but I don't want to say it's use the same little tag phrases and everything that every, everyone is using. I understand that you have to jump on things while it's hot or whatever, but I wanted to be able to do my own thing and still have people connect with that. And so that led to a lot of confusion as far as me trying to do too many different things it just wasn't working so now i'm back and thanks to dodash also thanks to my husband he said a lot of the same things that she said some of the things i thought myself i just did not come on camera to to say it i would like to get my channel monetized before the end of this year in order for me to do that i have to show up and provide something of value that people want to hear or that people can relate to and with that being said, I want to tell you about what's been going on with me for the last several months. So some of you may know that I've been a stay-at-home parent for many years, several years, well, a lot of years now. And so with the kids growing up, sorry, um, you know, we have an older, an adult son and we have two minor kids. But with them growing up, you know, I guess it was kind of getting to the point of where I don't know, it was like I was not feeling like I was being fully appreciated in everything that I was doing at home. And then, like I said, they're getting older, so I was just thinking, well, I just fool around and maybe get a job. I wasn't really taking the job hunt serious, but I did start the process of trying to find a job. Lo and behold, people reached back out and I am employed outside of the home now. But what I realized is that that ain't what I want to do <laughs> like no me going to work I mean I understand people have to do it people have to provide I understand it I'm just saying for me it, it's just not working for me I don't like the whole atmosphere of being in the office and what goes on and especially and I'm just being honest and I mean there's no disrespect to anyone outside of myself because I'm a woman but especially when there's a lot of women that's working together, it is just, you know, mm -mm. I'd rather be at home taking care of our house, managing that, than being, because it's almost like, we understand these are, oh, I'll leave that alone, but I'm just saying, um, getting up every day, going to work, just to go do the same thing over and over again in, in the environment and everything. It's just not what I want to do. And the re only reason why I'm still employed outside of the home now is because I said that I would uh, do this, you know, for a, a certain period of time. That's what I said. That was my word. And a lot of, you know, I try to keep my word. And so, but it, it, it won't be no 20 years, five years, nothing like that. And honestly, I mean, just being honest, being, telling the truth, if, some of my decision to get a job was um, just because, you know, listening to other people. Oh, what do you do all day? Or whatever. But it's like, why, why are you so concerned about what I do all day? I mean, it could just be an innocent question. But I, if, if, if I'm not asking you for anything, why does it matter to you what I do? Just because you know that I don't get up and go to a nine to five. Why is it your concern, you know? And so, like I said, just innocently, innocently asking a question is one thing. But if you're just trying to see what am I doing with my life or whatever, I'm doing what I enjoy doing. And that's taking care of my family in the way that I'm taking care of them. And so all that is a lesson. It's a lesson in all of that. Like if something works for you and your household, continue to do that thing. Don't be concerned about what people think, you know, uh, 
And I'm not saying the reason that I have a, a, a job now is because of someone else. But there was a little, you know, outside chatter that I allowed to influence my decision to a small degree. And that's my fault. And I, you know, I'm coming around to try to take on a whole different mindset. I don't want other people's opinions and what they think and what they think I should be doing um, determine my actions. So if you've been in that same position and you're 40 or over, or even if you're younger, and you, you feel like you have made decisions just based off of trying to please other people. Stop doing that. Because we do. I mean, we. I understand that you can just be reckless and just, just making decisions that just benefit just solely you. Especially if you have a family. You do have to consider other people. But you have one life and trying to just live it so that everyone else is happy it does what it, it keeps you unhappy so do what's best for you so I hope that I've been able to encourage someone just from this little small video to like to do what makes you happy I'm encouraging myself just by speaking on it sometimes we what we think may make us happy may not actually make us happy i thought maybe me stepping outside of and it's my own fault i'm not blaming anyone else but sometimes what we think may make us happy does just the opposite i wasn't going to a job for the happiness not to be not to be happy but just finding some um i don't know more validation i guess in a sense and that was the wrong decision on my behalf so if you find something that you're passionate about do it find a way to do it if you're not already doing it and don't be concerned what other people say because people are always going to be saying something so hopefully this has helped someone so i'll be back this week later on talk to you later